from Balloon Utopia, Market with Balloons, and DIY Balloon Art. Today I want to show you how to make a flower lay. Um, I use this in, the, in my tropical themes. I wrap it around columns. Um, I, you know, hang it on other decor. There's a lot of things that you can do with this. It's very versatile. So basically what you need, the flowers we're going to make out of 160s, and we're going to make the string by tying together 260s, okay? So all you're going to do is just take some uninflated 260s, and I usually use some shade of green for that, because this is going to be, you know, uh, this will be visible wrapping around everything, and um, just tie them together. Okay, now you don't want, you see I'm tying a couple more on, your very first one and your very last one you don't want to put a flower on, because um, you're going to want to be able to attach those into whatever you're hanging it on. So, to make the flower, we're going to take a 160. It's uh, probably inflated about halfway, maybe a little bit more, it doesn't matter, we're going to be getting rid of the extra. Okay, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be making five petals. So take the nozzle and make a little loop, I guess a little bit smaller than your thumb. Okay, and twist it. Now I'm going to take this nozzle, I'm going to put it right through that loop, and now I'm going to hold this nozzle, I'm going to control this nozzle for the rest of uh, the, tw the twisting. And now I'm going to make four more petals the exact same size, and every time I'm just going to wrap that nozzle around it. So that's going to make it really good and sturdy and tight. See? Just like so. I know it's a little bit hard to see what I'm doing here. Like that. And then here's the fifth one. Okay. And you see you're wrapping them all right into that same center point there, and that's going to make the flower. So one of the tricks, one of the keys to this is to make sure that it's real tight in the center. You don't want to have it like, sometimes people kind of twist two over here and two over here and one over here, and then it's kind of loose and wiggly in the center. If that's the case, just rotate your petals around each other like that until it becomes very tight. Okay, and then get rid of the extra. Okay, now we're going to take our, um, our string here. And basically, everywhere that the balloons connect, that's where we're going to stick our flower. So you see, I'm just going to put it in just like that. And even you can leave the nozzle of the balloon, of the string, you can leave the nozzle sticking out and that becomes kind of the little center of the flower. So red, orange, I'm just doing this one rainbow because rainbow makes me happy. And sometimes your petals don't all come out exactly the same size, that's okay. Nature is not symmetrical, so just kind of, you know, arrange them the best you can so that they look nice and they kind of fill that space the right way. Okay, again, I'm just going to kind of wrap that in, make that nozzle stick out there like that. Now we're going to move on to the next one. Orange, yellow, looks like I need some more string here. But you get the idea. Um, so here we have the, the garland, and then if I was going to like wrap it around a column, I would tie this into the column, and then I would just kind of wrap this so that these are not pulled tight, but not really slack either, you know, so that you kind of have a neutral tension. So, let's see, I suppose, you might be able to see it if I did this, I'll tie it over here, and then kind of stretch it. <laughs> well, anyways. You get the idea. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of uh, some columns that are wrapped with these flowers, and you'll see what a cool effect it is. So now I, um, I have to give the commercial. By now, a lot of you, those who follow me, already know about our number one best-selling book that, uh, that just recently came out, and the DIY Balloon Bible for All Seasons, How to Wow Your Friends and Impress Your Relatives with Amazing Easy Balloon Decorations. Inside this book is more than 25 designs, 12 of which are seasonal and exclusive to this book only, a lot of other information that you need to know about balloons, and even a, a photo balloon glossary to give you the words that we use in the industry. Um, so this book is available for sale on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or pretty much anywhere online that books are sold. So um, go and get it. Uh, I wrote this along with my friend Raquel Porter from Balloon Sp Splendor in uh, Seattle, Washington, Seattle's best balloon company. And uh, it's, it's really exciting. It's been really well received, and I'd love you guys to get a copy too. Um, inside are links to exclusive videos, uh, also an invitation to our Facebook group, DIY Balloon Art. And really exciting is our new DIY Balloon Art store, which you can find at DIYBalloonArtStore.com. 
Uh, also our new website, DIYBalloonArt.com. So we've got a lot of really exciting things going on, and I hope to see you coming and joining us on some of them. Thank you so much, and enjoy your life. I can't wait to see all the fun things you do with it.